So today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Intent Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment. That, I'm sure that's not it either. Anyways, we bought this for our dad on what, Father's Day? And we really haven't opened it up and he hasn't gotten a chance to use it. So I figured that we would open it up, see how it is. Apparently, this thing has uh, up to six people can sleep in it. Uh, it's uh, nine inches by 10, so like nine and then 10 wide. Apparently in the center of it, it's 5'6", we'll find out here in a bit. It's got like uh, LEDs on the side. Apparently you don't need any equipment to build this, so it should just be like an instant build type of thing, no equipment needed. And that's what we're gonna find out today. Give this little tour. So it's got a window here. So you want to get in there and demonstrate the windows? Of course, this isn't like bolted onto the ground or anything like that. So of course, that's gonna be lifted up. But it's just for reviewing purposes. Big old window or big old door, I should say. Good. Opens up a little wider. You got windows with closing blinds, I would say. And here's where the better battery pack goes. Okay, yeah, this is where the battery pack goes. <laughs> and I guess the LEDs would come down here, which we could try to install here in a bit, but not yet. Another window. It's pretty wide enough to fit like what? Two mattresses, like I said. It is pretty high. Five is like pretty tall and he's not banging his head on this. This side, yeah. Well, it, it was in the middle, not all over. That's what I said. Um, yeah. Other than that, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's it's all right. We didn't use any tools, just our hands, and it worked out fine. Yep, it worked out fine. All right, so this comes in the box, I guess, for the LED lights. Uh, either you can put batteries in here, or you can do a battery bank, power battery bank. That's what we'll be using, so I don't think we'll be needing this. We just need this. So if you look in the little bars right there, those bars, all of those, this one and that one, let me see this one. Nope, just this two right here. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's the LEDs in there. The LEDs over there too. So I'm going to just plug this into the uh, USB here, turn it on. Yep, it's got battery in there. It's hidden under here. So there's a button here and there it is. Okay, so I guess that's one of the modes, which, I mean, we're in bright daylight, so you probably won't be able to tell the difference. Uh, that's a little bit brighter. So I guess it goes dim, then it goes too bright, and then this is the brightest, I think. Yeah. So that's the brightest it gets. Not bad, right? Yeah, it's okay. So, yeah, not too bad. I mean, this you can just tug it back in there. But for a tent, I mean, this is like, revolutionary I've never seen this definitely it was uh, as advertised no tools needed I mean this was just done pretty easy Fabi says it was like the most easiest experience he's ever had and uh, I mean this already comes in there this comes in there already lights already installed you just got to add the battery bank or actual batteries and then you're good to go uh, it is pretty tall as you can see I mean I've got plenty of room I'm sure that you fit up to 10 people here. It looks pretty wide. Again, this is not an actual ground or campground, so it's just a concrete. We didn't bolt anything down, so that's fine. Uh, I think the other stuff, like the, the thing that's just laying right there, those are just the ones that go here. In case you wanted to get this closed off, if it rains or something, you can put it on top of that. I am, I'm assuming that these lights are like outdoor rated, water resistant type of stuff. Okay, so the whole advertising was that this was going to be something like a toolless setup to set it up and it should also be the same way to take it back down. So, no tools required. I think you just pop in this little clips right here, do the same one for all four of them. Then it'll be back down to what we had at the beginning, wrap it all around, wrap it with the little strings that 
came attached with it and I think we're good to go. And there it is. So it was definitely easy to put up, easy to take down. It had a lot of accessories, a lot of room, a lot of space. 